Hi, this is a September update, September 22 update on my orchids. And I do have some blooms still in my tank. This is the Catacetum cross between Gladiatorium and Barbatum. And it is blooming for me the second time this uh, season. You already saw it in bloom. There's, there's an old spike there. And uh, it produced me the second spike, which is really great. And what I like about this Catacetum, it is not as big. Look, it's pretty miniature. Because comparing to those guys, they're huge. They haven't bloomed yet, but the, the actual um, the actual plant is huge. It takes a lot of space. So, um, well, I didn't expect them to be so. See, they're like giant trees in my tank. Of course, I don't want to move them out right now because I want them to bloom. So I want to uh, make them warm and comfortable for that. But yeah, uh, this one is much smaller, so I like it. And um, accidentally, accidentally, see, the pollen got out of the bloom and immediately the bloom wilted. So you got to be careful not to touch the blooms and this one because um, if you accidentally, and this one here too, eh? If you accidentally knock off the uh, pollen from the flower, it just wilts right away. And the flowers are very pretty. I like it. And my hibiki is still in bloom, but uh, that one is in bloom like forever, all the time. And what I noticed, it also started me a new, new cane there. So there's a new cane growing on hibiki, which is good. Now I put my two of my cattleyas inside of tank. Um, they are not small, but this is cattleya ludemaniana. And I've read, I was reading about my cattleyas and it's getting colder. And I read that uh, ludemaniana absolutely hates cold. So it can uh, actually, it can die. So I decided to squeeze it inside of tank for this for the winter and see how it goes. I'm not sure if it'll bloom. There's new growth growing, and um, this one, this girls, um, grew, I think last uh, last season. But that one there, all red. This is the new one from this season. It was on. Uh, on a window um, getting full sun, so that's why it's all red. So I don't know if any of those will bloom here in the tank. It is pretty close to the light, and you see it's uh, light green, the leaves, so it must be getting enough light. But I don't know if it's enough for blooming. And my objective with this one just to keep it alive through the winter, and then we'll see. And the same thing is with this one here. This is this one is Cattleya vistalis, which is Daviana cross twist maxima. And uh, uh, Daviana also hates cold. So it is a huge actually Cattleya, but I did squeeze it in for the winter. And this is this is the new growth that's happening. So um, again, it might or might not bloom here. We'll see. But at least um, it should it should be uh, kept alive in here. So those are the changes here. And my dendrobiums, Lodigesii and Jenkinsii, will come out soon. And uh, then I will have more space. Maybe I will go through my other cattleyas and see. Maybe I will squeeze it in uh, yet another cattleya here for the winter. And um, of course, these catacetums, once they bloom, I will remove them for a um, resting period. So 
there will be more space. Now, here is my Dendrobium Christianum, which I just bought recently. And look, it's growing me a new growth here, new growth here, and actually on the old growth, it was producing a bud right here. But then suddenly it dried out. I don't know why. So that's sad. And um, I don't like it. Is it that fussy? Because I didn't do anything bad to it. Um, we'll see if next bud will blast or not. Um, what else? My Phalaenopsis plants are growing new leaves. Like many of them, they stopped, they finished blooming and now they're, see, they're producing new leaves, which is good. My Phragmipediums growing well. See, they look nice and, and uh, that's my um, Dalisandroi. I cut off the spike because it was like on the seventh bud and I noticed that um, the later flower, the last flower didn't even open properly. I think it was already exhausted from the blooming. So I cut off the spike and now there are four babies. Grows me four babies, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's my Kabakii, which is still alive and growing. The new, new slippers from Orchidin started to grow new leaves. This is the Henryanum and even Vietnamense. Look, started new leaf, which is also good. I think they like being in the thing, as long as they, I don't root them. And uh, Stone, I put it very close to the fan because that's the species that is cursed. I always rot it in a tank. I uh, I don't know how, but I think it's very uh, fragile in that way. So it's easy to rot for me, that species. So I put it very close to the fan so the, the water moves around, the, sorry, the air moves around and maybe that'll keep it from rotting. And another interesting thing, this is my um, Sanderianum crossanito. And uh, see, there's something inside I can see through. I think it's probably new leaf. But how cool would it be if it was a bud here? But you can see it, right? There's something dark inside. It's very neat. I never noticed it before. Probably new leaf, which is good too. And this is my Tabayense, which um, is starting yet another new cane. So there are two new canes already grown on different stages. And that's the third one, new one in this season, which is really good. That's a productive plant, which is easy. And it did not blast blooms, buds. So I'd recommend this one. If, uh, if you can find it, it's a really nice plant. So that's what's going on in the tank at this moment. There is the uh, Miltoniopsis cake Akamoda from uh, Reskits Outlook. It's growing very nice new growth, very plump and fresh. I like it. Maybe it'll bloom for me when it's fully matured. Not sure when it happens, but um, I'm happy with this one. So that's my tank. Now let's go see the, the shelf. Now here's my shelf and it's a bit gloomy because it's an overcast. I think we have rain right now, so no sun. But uh, look at the blooms. They're still alive and they still smell very, very nice. My white bridal, long lasting blooms. I love it. I think that's uh, probably my best cafea. One of the best anyways. Uh, and not only because it bloomed, but because of fragrance, and I really love the, the blooms. And um, this is the uh, uh, skinnery, Calais skinnery from uh, Beverly. And look, there's a sheath there too. So I guess, uh, I hope, at least one of them will, will bloom for me soon. 
and that's uh, the third new growth, which progress in pretty well. A plant created lots of new roots since I got it, so I think it adjusted to my conditions. Uh, I really like it. It's it's huge. Look. Love it. And my um, Psychopsis, um, it was blooming recently, then it dropped the bloom, and look, there's new blood coming up. It's really cool. So it's sequential, and um, the new growth, it's uh, progressing well. It already unfolded the, the leaf. That's good. This is my Dendrobium trantronii, which was doing good in a tank at first, but then suddenly something happened to this leaf. I think it started to rot maybe, but it's limp and I don't know. So I took it out of the tank just in case. I will keep it here. I hope it won't die on me. I hope it'll produce me a new cane, maybe. Yeah, that's the uh, spike on my uh, on my Vanda Cerulea, which is progressing well. There will be there will be not many uh, blooms because this is the first bloom. Even though plant is uh, not small, it's a big plant, but it's it never bloomed before. So for the first blooming, just a few blooms is okay. And. Uh, yeah, something new. I was gonna actually ask if somebody knows what it is. So this is my one and first and only Zygapetalum, which I loved when it bloomed. And now, look, it started to grow me something here. Do you know what it is? Is it a new bulb or is it possible to be a new spike? I mean, I would be happy uh, to have either. I'm just curious what it is. And overall, it's doing great. Looks healthy. And uh, yeah, so it started to grow something. Really excited. And what else new here? Oh yeah, I had one more bud coming up. Or rather spike. I need to find it. Yeah, there is a spike coming up on my... Can you see it? Palpafilum kalimpong. So I uh, actually ripped it off the uh, mount this season and potted. And I wasn't expecting blooming this uh, fall. It always blooms in the fall for me every year. But this year I thought it would skip because of the because of that thing I did. But no, look. So it's easy one. Easy going plan, not fussy. Palpafilum kalimpong. I think it's a cross of gutulatum and ar arnetissimum or something like that. So that's nice. I will have blooms soon. And this is my Fragmentidium ruby slippers, which got kicked out of the tank because it rotted. Um, there was a new leaf coming out, but it got all rotted, I think. Well, my usual explanation, I got some water in there um, and I was scared that I will rot it totally. But um, there's a new growth coming and uh, at some point, at some point I thought it was kind of pale. And um, just accidentally I watched Ed's video about Fragmentidiums and somebody in comments said, the same thing that the new growth coming out very pale and he suggested to give it a Epsom salt bath that's what I did so all my slippers actually got an Epsom salt bath last weekend so we'll see if uh, it will become darker but other than that it looks uh, it looks okay I think new growth and will be slippers and yeah, I think that's all I have interest in here. Oh yeah, my Balea was creating a new bud, but then suddenly it got all black. Not sure why, but um, the fact that it created me bud means that it can bloom several times per season. 
because it just bloomed recently and it tried to bloom again and somewhere there there's a new growth yeah right there there's a new growth coming so not sure what happened to that bud it got black that's a valea and this is my salad Jenny Laurentiana and it's really shiny because I put some insecticide on it because I noticed on the leaves there was kind of like residue you know the, the sticky residue that usually bugs leave behind now I checked and checked with magnifying glass I didn't find any bugs but it bothered me a lot so I uh, I used this one here and sprayed it all over just in case so that's why it's all shiny hopefully if there were bugs they got killed and I think in a couple of weeks I will repeat this treatment just in case so that's my um, that's my update on my on my shelf well there's some more stuff going on but it's not like I think I already showed this Stenhopia growing new growth it's doing well now and this is another Stenhopia Stenhopia Janishiana the other one was Kanata this one Janishiana it grew me like three bulbs this summer this is fourth one and that one is fifth one but there is no blooms yet I don't know what it needs and uh, another thing I noticed the leaves get uh, this white variegation at the ends I think it's missing something at some deficiency but I'm not sure what it's getting the same treatment as other plants let's see it's getting that white stuff here white yellow so if you have any idea what what is it missing please let me know I'd like to fix it so that was my September orchids update I did not include my vanda space because then it would be too long video I'll do it next time thank you for watching and have a nice day